everybody. Right. All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, here at the Hilton Garden in Lexington, and being my trusty assistant to do a little video update on our new time clock, which goes live very, very quickly here. So inside the box are a couple of things. Uh, come, this is the mounting bracket. There's a little level that makes it real easy to mount. Some screws and things. Most importantly, there is a configuration key card. This card is super important. Do not lose it. If you do, we have to order a new one because it's super important, but we'll show you why more. Power supply, and obviously the new time clock um, here. So we're gonna show you the steps in setting this new time clock up when we go live. First, obviously, we need to get a power here. Uh, on your old time clock, uh, we need to get the IP address off that. So to do that, we, can get in, we want to click on clock maintenance, put in our number, our administrative number, enter, and you obviously log in with the biometrics. You're going to go to network settings, uh, then there's network address, and on the left hand side here you'll see your IP address. So you'll want to write that down. You want the IP address. and the gateway address and the subnet. Those are the three bits of information you're gonna to need uh, to program our new clock. That's all you need out of that. So you can close that, leave the time clock up and running uh, because we're still using it for a bit longer. So with our new clock, we just wanna give, give it power. It just takes a few seconds for it to boot up. So, as soon as it boots up here, I'm not getting power. That's weird. There we go. There we go. So, it's going to boot up. This takes a few seconds. This is where uh, the next step is where this card that came with it is super important. You can see a little tune why this thing is booting up. Uh, great news about this clock is uh, for the employees who struggle with getting their fingerprint uh, because of, you know, maybe um, they're just not having a great fingerprint left. Uh, maybe they're older, maybe, they, you, you know, whatever. Uh, this clock really solves that problem and we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, so this is the, the beginning screen here. So to get into the configuration uh, where you're not required to put in your number or anything, you just need this, this is why this card is so important. You swipe it here, that gets you into the configuration information. The top, uh, I guess it's the left hand side, network settings, we're going to click on that. Uh, click on wired. It's going to, currently the default says obtain IP address automatically, you want to change that to IP address Manually, this is where you'll put in the, gate, the information you got off your old clock. So you just click on that and you'll type in the new numbers. They're different for everybody. So you'll get in the IP address, and then you put in the, sub, the subnet. The subnet is always 255.255.255, and then the last three numbers can be different. The gateway which is also you obtain from your old, old clock. All right, so then the DNS, it says primary DNS, it has 8.8.8.8, .8 .8 which is fine. You do want to fill in the alternate DNS, which you want to put in 8.8.4.4, .4 and then just click OK. So now, Oh, low battery on my phone? That's okay, I have a little extra battery thing here. Let me click on it. Alright, so there you go. So now the clock will be ready to go online. So we're going to show you how to enroll employees. The great news is a couple things. Is their their current number uh, with the system now in Paychex stays their number with a new clock. Uh, so it's super easy from that standpoint, so we don't have to learn a new number. So to enroll a new employee, We'll, you'll swipe this card, so you'll need this every time you have a new employee. Uh, you click on Enroll finger, uh, Fingerprint. You type in their number. We can use someone here. Let's just pick somebody. So you type in their employee number.
All right, so if you come close in, this is where the theory says special enroll no or special enroll yes. If you have someone in the past who's had to use a proximity card, this is important where you want to put the special enroll yes. But other than that, you want to leave it at the default. So then the next, oh, let it, it timed out on me. Uh, again, so we click and roll fingerprint, we put in their number, if they're able to in scan their employee fingerprint before, leave it at no, but if they've had trouble in the past, click yes, just hit next, and it very, it just, you just want to follow the on-screen instructions, it just ask them to enroll their finger, does it four times, and it's only one finger this time versus two last time. So that's all there is to it, to enroll the employees. So what I, what you can do, and I would recommend uh, getting this clock uh, and have it at your desk and whenever, over the next week or so, you could actually enroll these people, enroll your people in advance. So the day that we go live, you don't have to go run around trying to find everybody. So you can actually leave this up and enroll them just at, at your desk. So I would really encourage you to do that over the next several weeks uh, or next week or so before we go live. Uh, so that the day you go live, literally once you've done all this work, you'll take this off the wall, use the mounting brackets, take the same wire connection, plug it in this guy. Right up here, it says offline, but that will switch to green, online. Uh, and if you've done all your work in advance getting the employees enrolled, you literally have nothing more to do. You, it'll be very seamless and we'll get into the new, very exciting payroll program. So if, if you struggle with this, obviously you can reach out to me. But I think it's uh, very seamless and it's a, definitely an upgrade. We're excited. We've been working on this for about a thousand years. So we've been promising this. So we're excited for you to finally get it. So awesome. You guys have a great rest of your day.